So let's briefly discuss the acidity of alkynes and let's compare it to the acidity of alkanes. So as an example, let's use the simplest alkyne, acetylene, and let's use the simplest alkane known as methane. So we basically want to determine which one of these two hydrocarbon compounds is a better bronsted lowry acid. Recall that a bronsted lowry acid is a compound that is capable of donating an H plus ion. So we want to figure out which one of these compounds is better at donating an H plus atom. So let's look at reaction one. In reaction one, we have a methane molecule or a methane compound dissociating or donating an H plus atom and also creating a methyl anion. So this methyl has a net charge of negative one because it has a lone pair of electrons, non-bonding electrons, found on the carbon. So let's look at reaction two. In reaction two, our acetylene dissociates into an H plus atom and it also creates an anion called acetylide. Now this acetylide also has a net charge of negative one because it also has a lone pair of non-bonding electrons on this first carbon. So which one of these reactions is more likely to occur? In other words, which one of these acids is a better acid? Well, it turns out from experimental results, we know that acetylene is a better acid. In fact, acetylene is 10 to the 30 times better at donating an H plus atom than this methane compound. So why is that? Why is it that this hydrocarbon is so much better at donating an H plus atom than this simpler hydrocarbon? Well, it turns out the reason is this anion is much more stable than this anion. And therefore, this reaction is much more likely to take place. So now let's examine why this compound, this anion, is much more stable. And let's look at the orbitals of these two compounds. So let's begin with our methyl. So, the lone pair of electrons in the methyl molecule, in the methyl compound, are found in the sp3 hybridized orbital. Remember, sp3 contains 25% s character and 75% p character. Now let's look at our second anion. So in this anion, our lone pair of electrons are found in an sp orbital, in an sp hybridized orbital. An sp orbital is an orbital that has 50% s character and 50% p character. So this has much more s character than this compound. And recall that the more s character a bond or an orbital has, the more stabilizing or the more stable the electrons in that bond will be. And because this has much more S character than this, the electrons here are more stable and therefore this compound is more stable than this anion. And that means this reaction will be more likely to take place. Recall that electrons found closer to our proton, to our nucleus, are more stable. They're lower in energy. And that's exactly why when electrons are found in the s orbital, they're more stable than if they're found in the p orbital. Because the s orbital is closer to the nucleus than the p orbital. And therefore, if we have more s character, which we have in this sp hybridized orbital, those electrons will be more stable because they're closer to the nucleus. So once again, electrons found closer to the nucleus are more stable. Therefore, since the acetylide contains more S character, 
50% in the sp orbital than the methide, which contains 25% S character, acetylide is more stable. So this anion is more stable than this anion. Once again, because the, those electrons are found in a 50% S character versus a 25% S character orbital. So therefore, acetylene, this guy, is, a more, is more likely to release an H atom or an H ion than our methane. Now notice one important detail. In this lecture, we've compared the acetylene to methane. So we said that this is a relatively good acid. Relatively meaning that this compared to this. If we compare our acetylene to a very good acid, such as hydrochloric acid or hydrobromic acid, we see that this becomes a very weak acid when compared to strong acids like that. But if comparing hydrocarbons, alkynes are better acid donors or H plus ion donors than our alkanes. And likewise, for the same reason, alkynes are also better at donating an H ion than alkenes are.